I'm Ralph Grizzle, the avid cruiser. For more than two decades, I've cruised the seven seas on some of the world's most luxurious ships. I write about my experiences on avidcruiser.com. My goal is to help people like you make informed decisions about your cruise vacations. Join me today in an exciting new mini-series as I explore the most popular cruise destinations around the world. My name is Ralph Grizzle, and I am the Avid Cruiser. Dubrovnik's massive city walls enclose one of the world's best-preserved medieval cities. And certainly you want to spend some time exploring this UNESCO World Heritage Site. But you can do a lot in addition to seeing Dubrovnik. We're going to visit the old city and the countryside, where we'll go for a spin on a bike and sample some local delicacies for a taste of life here on the Dalmatian coast. I felt as though I had stepped onto a medieval stage set as I walked through Dubrovnik. In fact, I learned that was exactly the case. Part of HBO's Game of Thrones was filmed here. Dubrovnik was the fictional city of King's Landing. Within Dubrovnik's old town, I visited a functioning Dominican monastery. Beyond the cloisters, I found a sanctuary that was part cathedral and part museum. In fact, it was in the monastery that I discovered Dubrovnik's finest collection of Renaissance paintings. Among the many works by local and Italian masters is a painting by Titian, an Italian painter who was the most important member of the 16th century Venetian school. Less than an hour from Dubrovnik, we boarded a small boat that would take us out to harvest and to sample fresh oysters. The captain maneuvered the boat up to a floating platform and I stepped out, eager to see what was coming. Okay. Mm. Now these just now came out of the water here, so they do taste a little bit salty, but they're actually pretty darn good. What I like about this tour is that you can see Dubrovnik Old City and then come out here where it's very peaceful out in this beautiful water. My next adventure was a bike ride through a beautiful valley not far from Dubrovnik. We pedaled through wine producing farmland that was beautiful, but we were cycling to a place that was out of this world stunning. The Kanavli Valley takes its name through the many canals that cut through this region and the cool air that they produce were refreshing after our ride through the warm valley. Near Dubrovnik, I got to see the old-fashioned way of making olive oil, using a press driven by a horse with a little help from the horse's owner. Basically, the two of them are squeezing the oil from fresh olives harvested nearby. You couldn't ask for olive oil any fresher than this, I enjoyed seeing the process, but I couldn't wait to taste it. We were treated to a feast of fresh breads that I dipped into the olive oil and vegetables from the owner's garden. I really enjoyed the opportunity to experience life in a Croatian farmhouse. It was genuine, authentic, and exceptionally tasty. A moment worth celebrating. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the variety of experiences we've been able to show you from Dubrovnik. There's a lot more to do when you visit the city known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, but to discover those things, you'll simply need to come for yourself. I'm Ralph Grizzle, and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.